Today, up to 1,000 people uh, are set to join workers, local politicians and union reps on a march to save Doncaster Sheffield Airport. The airport's owners, the Peel Group, are winding down operations from the 31st of October and made the decision to close permanently uh, due to its financial viability or in reality, lack thereof. It's estimated that 2,700 jobs will be impacted by that closure, and as well as providing commercial flights to passengers, the airport also provides a base for crucial emergency services and national security functions. Didn't know that. Well, talks have been underway this week to see if the airport can remain open after Peel Group were offered £7 million by the South Yorkshire Mayor to underwrite losses for the next 13 months until another viable buyer can be found. Did it work? Will it work? Anna Riley is all over the story for us and joins us live now. Anna, uh, any biters, any takers from the Peel Group? Good afternoon, Alistair. Well, those, those talks are still underway, so we don't know yet if they're going to accept that offer from the South Yorkshire Mayor, but it's certainly something that people here want saving. The airport is South Yorkshire's only airport. It's before the pandemic, 1.5 million passengers were coming here per year. There's still flights going out today. There's been eight flights today. They're winding down at the end of the month, though, if the airport isn't saved. And and as well as the South Yorkshire Mayor trying to save the airport, the local MP for Don Valley Conservative Nick Fletcher has also been fighting to save the airport. I spoke to him earlier and this is what he had to say. The airport is such a, a hive of business around this area. The plans that were first laid out for it are fantastic plans. They're still out there. People are ever so fond of it. They love using it. Uh, now it'll be it'll be really really poor for the area. It's such a it's such a wonderful asset to have. Uh, there's 800 jobs here, and I know the Department uh, of Working Pensions has been working really closely with them as Doncaster Council has, so that these people can get back into the into the job market. And there's offers come from other airports too, but it's the 2,700 jobs to the wider community that will be lost from Doncaster, and that is really quite sad. Yeah, I do think there should be a public inquiry into it. I do uh, think that people need to know why an asset like this has not uh, not been viable, and uh, I think the only way we're actually going to achieve that and really get to, to the nitty-gritty of it is to actually find out uh, through a public inquiry. And that's something that Nick Fletcher is going to de be debating in Parliament on Monday. There's an adjournment debate where he'll be giving a speech on why he feels it's so vital for this airport to be saved. And Monday it's going to be a big day in politics, isn't it, with the leadership race. I asked the MP who he wanted to be the leader of the party, and this is what he said. I've been making my mind up on Monday. So personally, you know, can we push you, 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 you know, leaning in the way of anybody as yet? No, not at this moment in time. I'm keeping my cards close to my chest. It's important. It's an important decision for this constituency. It's an important decision for Doncaster. And it's an important decision for the country. It's, um, yeah, it's a difficult time. I understand that. But uh, I think both, um, both are the main uh, candidates at the moment, which appear to be Rishi and Boris, um, Whoever wins, whoever I back, but whoever wins, I will 100% get behind them. So that's certainly a big story that we'll be covering on Monday on GB News. And I'll also be providing updates on the airport closure and whether or not it is saved.